In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am before the camera with a little sorrow in my heart and much anxiety about what is happening today in the world. I'm here with the two intentions just to highlight you and tell you what is happening today. And number two, uh, to instruct you or to advise you to pray for these two causes. Number one, I'm sure through the newspapers, all of you know, our planet Earth is ailing. Astronomers, scientists, especially from NASA say, as the heat from the sun is increasing, the water on Earth may be evaporated and the vapor, the steam will be in the atmosphere causing more heat. As a result, perhaps human beings or living creatures may not exist on this Earth, on this planet. A doom for the planet. Also, a probability of a massive stellar explosion which can cause perhaps a big uh, catastrophe. And I'm not frightening you by saying this. These are only possibilities or probabilities or hypotheses. But we should know here this may not happen because Earth is unique. The scientists cannot measure Earth with the other planets. It is true the other planets or stars ended their life in the past and the remnants are in the atmosphere. From that they cannot judge Earth. Earth is unique because we know only on Earth there is life, especially human life. And only on Earth people know God and call upon God. So it is something unique for God. So we must trust that God will protect. But the problem, when God created the world and things in the world, and things on earth and human beings, he gave everything to mankind. Man was the order or crown of creation. But God wanted that man to love God, to honor God. If you look at the earth today, Many don't believe in God. Many are not turning to God. Many consider God as a person who gives material things. They don't want to turn to Him and accept Him as Lord and God. This is one of the reasons why there is a chaos on earth. At this juncture, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we should pray more. And number two, I'm sure you are coming to know about what is happening on earth, especially the Ukraine and Russian war. Already we heard Putin frightened with a nuclear war. And now recently he said, if Ukraine joins NATO or Ukraine joins the European Union, there will be a International catastrophe, he is meaning a third world war. It was already pronounced by Joe Biden and the former President Trump and many other world leaders. There may be a world war, a third world war, which will be a nuclear war. Today, we read the, in the newspaper, with the three minutes or 30 minutes, Russia can completely destroy United States and Europe and vice versa. They have what they call heavy weapons that can destroy even the planet. At this moment, my dear brothers, what we need is to pray for the conversion of the leaders of the nations, especially Putin and Joe Biden, Solensky, the president of Ukraine and the whole European Union and America 
and to open their heart to God so that they may not bring this homicide. I say homicide. If there is a nuclear war, there will be no more human beings on earth. Let it not happen. And prayer can do miracles, wonders. I believe that. That's why I have written a book with that title, Prayer Does Wonders. So, I just read from 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. I ask that publications, prayers, petitions and thanksgiving be offered to everyone, for kings and for all in authority, that we may live a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and tranquility and dignity. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, we have to pray for kings. That means those who are in authority, presidents, prime ministers and lawmakers, that they may never even one moment think of a world war or a nuclear war. It is so stupid to think, but sometimes the devil can bring these stupid thoughts in the hearts of men. That's what happened at the Second World War. A stupid thought came to the heart of Hitler. And you know what happened? And now, a stupid thought can come in the heart of any of these presidents or rulers. Let's bring them to the heart of Jesus and ask the Holy Spirit to melt their heart and fill them with the thoughts of peace, unity, love on earth. So I am just escorting you, advising you with all love to spend some time daily interceding before Jesus, before God. For as you are a Muslim, you are a Hindu, you are a Christian. Okay, in your temple, mosque or church, lift up your hands and pray. As St. Paul says, lift your hands. We know in the Old Testament, when Moses climbed on the mountain and lifted the hands and prayed, uh, the Israelites won the war. And when he put down the hand, that means when he stopped praying, they were failure. And we know who and Aaron put up the hands and prayed and they succeeded. So we are in a battlefield on earth. Let's pray that this planet and all the people in this planet created in the image and likeness of God may survive. Okay? I, it's only a friendly, friendly advice. Closing the eyes, put the hand on the chest. I give a blessing to you. Lord Jesus, Son of the living God, O oh God the Father, we pray before you that you send your Holy Spirit upon Putin, Joe Biden, and Solensky, and all world leaders, that they may think of ways of peace and prosperity on earth rather than a destruction of the planet. We pray that the spirit of destruction depart from this earth, depart from the hands of the leaders, and Holy Spirit come with the peace, joy, love, and all blessings of God. And we pray that planet be be safe in your sacred heart. Lord Jesus, this planet is something unique where people know you and worship you. Kindly keep this planet safe from any catastrophe or any kind of explosions or any kind of uh, acceleration of the movements of the earth, the rotation of the earth. Lord, control this earth and properly move so that it may live for millions and billions of years. Not as the scientists say, eight years or ten years. Also, there are prophets of the doom saying that soon earth will be on fire and Pope will be killed, etc., etc. Lord Jesus, give them wisdom not to believe all these false, false prophecies, but to believe in you and believe in your word and go ahead with the courage. Right now, my dear brothers and sisters, I take all of you to the heart of Jesus, to the heart of Mary, and bless you and your families and all nations and the whole planet and all the peoples in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.
continue praying every day. Maybe saying rosary or simply making some kind of prayer as belief prayer of mercy. I'm sure the planet will continue existing and there'll be no world war, no nuclear war. Amen.